uh, market our daily show on nifty bank to use dinner where every day we look at the charts we look at the open interest we look at option chain analysis we look at fi and ai data and we try to form an informed opinion on what exactly is the market going to do tomorrow and the week therefore and we what else do we try to figure out ah yeah we, we try to find out some trades to do for the coming week right the one expiry where we got largely everything right including the things we said let's do and the things we said let's not do so yesterday our uh, analysis close was this hey how about productizing this thing i mean insensible let's just say we'll put this excel sheet as a thing in the home page of sensible or something we'll keep it free of course uh because you know maybe if people like watching this on youtube maybe people will also like seeing this excel sheet on sensible but uh, that's a thought process i will we'll see how that goes um yeah so let's get started so yesterday our uh, analysis was doji is formed we have to see if it sustains no shorts only put sells and we said that there is no point in initiating any fresh longs right because we had said that this is an indecision candle and if you have your existing longs you can probably hold on to them but there was no point in initiating any fresh longs was our analysis and we also said there might be sense in 17400 or even 17500 put broke even today so put sells made sense shorting did not make sense but in retrospect it did make sense and we are also said that don't initiate any new longs today because today market might dip a little bit it exactly happened there was a doji form yesterday and there was a huge open interest on 17500 call also as you can see here so we had said that this was a towering open interest yesterday so let's look at the yesterday's open interest rate we said that although there is a significant amount of uh, pcr we did say that this is a very big open interest at 17500 so we said that it is unlikely to break and you know it played out in that way and we said that if it sustains above 100 ema there is further updates and buy on dips right we did not so all of this played out very well now let's see what happens next okay this is where things become a little nasty i we have a second doji this time a red doji right and so see i would have happily happily asked to long the market at these levels if not for a second doji and the problem is in a very you know perverted way of looking at things this is a kind of bearish engulfing because technically technically uh this candles close is below yesterday's greens op op uh, open and it's uh, it's open is above yesterday's uh, green close so i mean I, i don't call it an engulfing because it's not big enough and all that but theoretically super theoretically speaking this is a doji bar engulfing i mean definitely we are, we can all agree on one thing this is pause in momentum right let's at least agree on that there's a pause in momentum so now i am going to look to long only if i get it at this level which is 17300 odd level but yaha pe bhi aisa nahi hai ki 17300 aap aate hi i'll go and long if it goes to 17300 i'll wait and see if it breaks back into channel or breaks 100 ema so now right honestly the wait and watch for me i'm not going to long here because there's a possibility of retracement all the way here and if it indeed retraces all the way here there's a possibility that it can go back into the channel so market mein thoda indecision hai you can probably think of buying here with a tight stop loss but why let it settle around here a little bit let it start going up a little bit if it comes back forms positive price action gives a rejection here and goes starts going back up again then we'll buy i think at this level i don't want to buy purely going by charts right so wait and watch what happens at 100 dma plus channel top right they are both coinciding now let's look at option chain option chain no point in looking at it today we all know that why because it's the first day and it does not have any relevance but let's look at it anyway right apna kya jata hai dark mode option chain on april 7th okay interesting 1700 has a lot of calls and puts actually i don't i have i don't remember seeing this kind of a number for a weekly option before this honestly like this is crazy like i haven't seen like usually we don't see this right first day of a week we don't see 40 30 type of numbers 
but it looks like this option chain is a negative option chain and that does not look good pcr is one that's fine that's the only positive bit but look at this right 1700 has 40 lakh calls and 1700 has only 30 lakh puts and this case upper b there are more calls than puts so my option chain like usually i ignore the day one option chain but today right it is actually significant oi 40 lakh 30 lakh and all that 17500 plus looks like a risk early formation of oi that's that's unusual and pcr is one bullish but of course near the atm it is negative all dominated right so it is negative fi option data let's see what fis are up to so you know why this jump happened because at end of the month and suddenly we see a drop now there are a few things i want to bring your attention to yeh to aap ignore karlo because today's unwinding and all this is this daily data has no value but new series there are more puts than calls almost twice the puts than calls that's point number one so let's write that down sorry i just saw a very funny comment <laughs> Mahesh is asking me to productize video clips of my conspiracy theory and experience story. Yar, like if I uh, start, uh, uh, you know, uh, like uh, I don't. Okay, we'll talk about you know conspiracy theories later. But twice as many uh, calls as put. Twitter for nature is asking Haram Core company, what about my 5k for pro service? Here I don't understand it. Like, did, did you pay money and nobody activated your plan? What happened? If you can please send a mail to support or even to me, we'll be very happy to help here. We don't do any scam stuff here. So twice as many calls as sorry, puts as calls. Sorry. That's negative. And uh, sorry, sorry. I have a I have a guest star going around on the floor DJ. so and futures data futures data uh, is uh, positive but okay i have something very interesting there also right now look at the open interest of fia futures yesterday we had an open interest of nearly twenty thousand calls today the open interest of calls is only twelve thousand crores so rollover is not very good like you know because you see the sudden drop right how much ever people were long last month, there haven't been so many people long at the end of this expiry. Maybe they'll come tomorrow and start adding, but there is a visible drop, right? And let me see if this is true for every month. Maybe people delay rollover. It could be that. Let, let's look at last month, right? Uh, when was the last month expiry? 24th was the expiry, right? So 24th to 25th, there was hardly any difference here. There's only 1000 crore difference, but this seems like a significant drop. So rollover is not very perfect. But if I bought futures 1000 crores, if I bought cash, DI bought cash, everybody has bought. So that though all those are bullet signals. Uh, bullish 1000 CR buy. But drop in OI, please be careful of the drop in OI. 3000 CR by. Wait and watch is my watch. Buy on dips maybe around 17300, 100 DMA zone with tight stop. But if it goes back into the channel, right, then it's going to be so maybe. Maybe instead of just buying when it reaches the support, right? So there are two things you can do. So one is you can, so I'll, I'll just illustrate with the uh, paint, right? So here's the thing, right? Let's say that there is a support. Your, why is this not coming on time? Sorry, I'm looking on the side because my dog is in the balcony and he's doing something he's not supposed to do. Just keeping an eye on it. So, okay. So, you see that there is a, uh, uh, this, let's say this is a support zone, right? There are two ways to buy Nifty at a support zone. One is Nifty as a gear and then you buy here 
with a tight stop loss here. This is one approach. The other way of looking at the same problem is Nifty SARI and then it shows a bounce here, right? Preferably with a candle like a bullish hammer or with a engulfing candle like this is a red candle and then there's a green candle, right? So, sorry. So this is a red candle and this is a green candle. Like this is one way to buy this, right? This, the first thing which I said, right? It is coming down and you're buying at support. I am not a fan of this because although this is what you call the zone of value and you can initiate buy here, ideally you should buy at a zone of value only if there's a price action confirmation, which is often a candlestick. If you also have the support of OI and all, nothing like that. So let's say when Nifty tests around 7300 levels, you have a nice candle, which is a bullish harami, sorry, or a bullish engulfing or a bullish uh, shooting, I mean, uh, hammer combined with some OI support, combined with some rejection, bit, then it's a great way to buy. But just because something is at a support, don't buy it. Wait, just look at some price action support also, right? So, so this is that. So then our verdict is wait and watch and see what. Or if you see any positive price action or let's say Nifty starts going up right away tomorrow and breaks the previous you know high we saw. Let me just see this. Where is the thing here? Nifty. If it if it closes above this level, probably you can buy again. But as of now, my buy zone is somewhere around this zone. Right, maybe a little lower because, uh, yeah, my buy zone is somewhere around 17,300. You know the DMA, right? You'll see the DMA and you can react to that. So that is that. Now let's look at bank nifty. We talked about it yesterday. We said that it's not going to be easy breaking three moving averages and it took a stop at the 50 day moving averages. Now we have a small doji. Again, confusing because bank nifty is, uh, Above this trend line, but below these averages, finally going to USD INR. USD INR has become super interesting. We had talked about this yesterday. Now, in international market, it has again bounced back towards the 200 DMA point. And it looks like in international market, it has formed a bullish uh, inverted, uh, sorry, bullish hammer. So, now the problem is this, right? There is a hammer on the dollar signifying a short term bottom. Nifty seems to have lost the momentum. It is now uh, stable with some dojis. Bank Nifty seems to have hit a resistance. It seems like we might be in for a temporary pause. So one, I, I mean, I'm. You can uh, sell calls, maybe even sell straddles, strangles, right? Because seventeen three hundred is not going to be broken that easily. Maybe it will sustain, <laughs> but it's tricky because. Uh, if it breaks and it goes below, IV will also go up and your put might be in trouble. So maybe 7300, maybe 17,000, 17,500 strangle is something which you can deploy. But I'm happy selling 17,500 calls, but maybe 17,500 call and 17,200 put also. But be careful about your put leg because if it goes back into the channel, then there might be some rapid de-escalation. Another thing you can do is 1700 call sell, 17,000 put sell because yeah, you also have the support of the 200 DMA. So maybe you can deploy the strangle also. I don't want to sell a naked put because if it goes back into the channel, the move might be rapid in terms of going down again. So maybe it's not a bad idea even if you don't trade, but tomorrow is a weekend. So there is free theta. That is the only reason why I am tempted to trade, right? So net net, what's our verdict? Um, market might be on pause bar sideways for the next couple of days. Slight bias on a dip. I'm not saying a reversal or a correction. I'm saying dip is likely, right? Because at least it has to go test the zone from where it broke out. So I'm not saying that this will reverse here and go here. I'm saying that this will likely test this level again, which is around 17,300, right? So maybe till 17,300, you can play the sell call side. At 17,300, you can either exit that call 
or hold that call to see what happens here. If it bounces back again, get out of that call. If it sinks back into this channel, then your call is safe. But basically at this level, I don't want to initiate fresh longs because it can retrace to 17, 330 to test this zone from where it broke out. Anyway, there are two consecutive dojis, so indecision is very high in the market. And that option chain is uh, negative more than positive because of 40 lakh calls on top. And FII data also, right? There's a dip in the future OI, although you will see net 1000 crore OI by today. But you have to understand that this is the last day of expiry. And this is only a part of rolling over whatever went uh, expired uh, from last week. And finally, you can also see that puts are twice the number of calls. So, net net, thoda, there is negative bias. In fact, I'll say thoda nahi, kaafi there is negative bias all the way to 17,300 maybe. Uske baad, we don't know. If it goes back into the channel, we'll short. If it stays, stabilizes, give positive action, we'll buy. But right now, please don't buy at this level. I am I'm having a slight bias that it might test back to this level. Now, let's do some entertainment and read some user comments. Kushant is asking, how about Delta Neutral? You can absolutely do Delta Neutral. There's no point, a problem at all. Tomorrow trading holiday, are you? I didn't know that. Tomorrow, why is there a trading holiday? Uh, sorry, Mahesh has got a very nice point. PCR is not 1. PCR is 0 0.8 because I know what has happened here. If I click on info button, it is choosing 31st March. It's actually 7th April. I have to look at Mahesh. Thank you so much for correcting. PCR is 0 0.8. So this is neutral. So now my view is even more bearish than earlier except this 3000 crore buy on FII stock data I am not seeing anything which looks uh, positive right now so this is a dip whether we buy on the dip or sell on the dip continuing we will figure out when 17300 comes but right now it is definitely going to be a dip so dip seems almost certain now let us look at some more user comments because we have a little bit of time Tomorrow must be a trading holiday. Why should there be a holiday? I don't get it. Oh, wait. So, I don't think there is any. Brain is asking, Brainwaves is asking tomorrow bullish or bearish. What's to do? Tomorrow likely is a pause with a negative bias. That is slight bearish dip bias Brainwaves. Uh, so again, Manoj is asking for my email ID, my name at, uh, you know, sensible.com. Manoj Gundi is asking, why don't you talk about buying options? Because in the long run, it's a losing game here. That's the problem. Uh, so, <laughs> SM is saying my drawing is bad. SM, my drawing is not bad. It is horrible. Uh, somebody is asking, okay, uh, regards to your comment about Pakistan yesterday. So you said Pakistan is, not, is a member of NATO. A member, name, but let's say key ally of NATO. If yes, then why Imran visited Putin on the day of war started? Yeah, because in international politics today, everybody has to sleep with everyone. We don't have the choice of, you know, this is my friend, he is my enemy and all that. That doesn't happen anymore. Because everyone has to keep everybody who is a neighbor, you know, happy. Uh, so, I think I think that's like, you know, perceptions and all that. Uh, but anyway, this concludes our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks so much again, guys, for joining. Uh, as usual. We will uh, see you on Sunday night with analysts for next week. I hope you guys have a great day trading tomorrow. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic weekend ahead. As usual, uh, you know, uh, don't trade because somebody on YouTube who might or might not know about trading asks you to trade. Uh, most important responsibility you have is to keep your capital safe. On that note, I'll take your leave. Please have a great weekend ahead, guys.